Oh, hey, Emma. Hey, Thad. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing just fine. So listen, uh, you know, I won the manager bowl during the spectacular, so I won the right to have one of my competitors have a number one contender spot. Correct. I've been sitting on that decision for a really long time, yeah. but uh, I think I've I think I've made a choice. Wonderful. But I just wanted to know from you more of the specifics about how it all works. Yeah, it's a number one contender match. So if your competitor is say uh, in the Inner Geekdom League, mm -hmm. they will have the pick from any active Inner, inner Geekdom competitor. Interesting. They'll have a number one contender match. The winner will then play the champion. If it's in the singles league, we'll do top 10. So any of the top 10 singles players, they'll have a number one contender match and the winner will play the champion. And for the teams, it'll be top five. The winners will play the Patriots. All right, excellent. Well, uh, thank you very much. That was incredibly helpful. I will let you know my decision by the end of the week. Do you have any idea who it might be? Why do I even bother? How's it going, guys? If you didn't know about the Patreon, you guys have a chance to support the Schmodown. Now, myself, Mark Ellis, we've taken over the production. Basically, you guys have 16 tiers to choose from. We're trying to give back to the fans. Go and check it out right there. If you want to support the Schmodown by becoming a patron today, go ahead and do it. Cannot thank you guys enough for all the support you've given us. And yeah, there's some really crazy tears in there. I'd love to get your opinions on it. Now go enjoy the match. Go do it. It's a good match for God's sakes. His manuscript. Okay. okay. And for? We bet 16. Yeah. And we said a bottle of wine. The answer and the winners going into the final. Shit. That's it. Box oh my God. Right now. Oh my God. Going to the final. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I have no, never lost Take those belts to from John me. Roca in anything. And I will never oh, lose life. to John Roca oh, in okay. anything. Four. Three, uh, two. I don't know, Laurel and Hardy. Let Bandit 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 Bandit. your winner by way of technical knockout and still undefeated, undisputed movie trivia showdown, champions of the world, Little Evil and the Insider. Oh, 
Listen, I'm a winner, God damn it. And I, I, I may go down and I may take this hard for a day or two, but then I bounce back. The best way to get back on top is to win. Now, I let my partner down, but I can't let Outlaw Nation down a second time. I'm going to lead. If I'm going to be a real leader, then I got to win. Well, I wrote Jane Fonda down. What? That, what? Is that what? what? Jane Fonda to you? <laughs> what? You didn't write the answer down. I, I wrote Jane Fonda down here. Just quickly. Let me That's see. Jane Fonda. Well, hey, well, we well, let see. me. Let's yeah, see I feel it. like we got to okay. see that. Let's see it. Yeah, I mean, no one got it. It's not like I'm cheating from them. Yeah. They didn't get it. What? They didn't get it. Nothing, oh, no. Wait, hold written on. on the board. Shh. Hold on a sec. Three oh. points. Challenge. 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 Uh, challenge. All right, challenge. Okay. The, the rules as outlined on the screen mm -hmm. before the round is to write the answer down. Yes. If it's you're been telling like that, me that was the answer written down. No, no, all right, you're no. going to challenge. There, there, there was challenge nothing Wait, written all, on the board. No, there was right. written on yeah, the yeah, board. He wrote it in cursive quickly in that last second. Jay Fond. He wrote down. Is it still there? Is it still there? Well, he already he already erased I'm it. He erased but it. there is literally no way it's, it's, that that it's, said Jane it's Fonda. Right. It's a bunch of squiggly it was, lines. It's, I would like to request a chance to re-spin. No. Hell no. This Hell is no. Mess. I know. That's that correct. is correct. And Quit sorrow. How many points? There's three. Three points. All right. All right so so top ten loses three points. Patriots Big lead again. For the so Patriots. now the Patriots have ten, ten points. This is bullshit. Ten points. Right. And your winners oh. by Ten way of <laughs> knockout and God. still on the Undefeated, undefeated movie trivia showdown champion of the world, Little Evil and the Insider, Jeff Snyder. Just, I he I saw him struggling. He wrote down an answer. It was wrong. And the reason why I saw he wrote down another answer was because as the clock was going down, we hinted our answer. I was like, okay, we're good. Let's see what happens. And I look over and he's still struggling. And he's erasing things. And like Christian's, the count is already gone. I saw him scribble something in the corner. And then I was like, okay. In my head, I was like, he, they have no way of winning these points. He didn't write down an answer. And then exactly. he, he gives the answer, which after we gave our answer, which gave him maybe extra 20 seconds to think of what the answer could be. Mm -hmm. And he just didn't even, do you notice this? Watch the tape, he didn't even show his board. Mm -hmm. He hipped it down and he's like, it's Jay Fonda, or whatever the hell it was. This is bullshit. And JT claiming like, oh, well, I said John Wayne, so it gave you time to think. Shut the fuck up. Like, that's some bullshit. It wouldn't even give me any time to think. I knew the answer. I even leaned over to Matt and said, I think it's Jane Fonda. I'll write it down real quick. I don't want to use another repeat. I said that as I was writing down. So it, it, this decision stinks. You're very emotional and everything's a little, you know, a little fresh right now. But you do have a match coming up with JTE. Uh, How are you feeling about going into that now? I'm going to need some time, man, uh, to be honest with you, because... Who knows what shenanigans him and the commissioner are up to to rob me of this of the next victory? Whoa! So you think this? You think the commissioner is involved in this? It's great to say undefeated, undisputed, greatest champions in the fucking world. It's always great to say that. It's a moniker that you have an undefeated champ. So you know who knows? Because the decision was made to give them another Western question. That was fair. The respin was where the unfair nature of this whole game came into play. And who knows what they're going to do in a live audience? I don't know.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Movie Trivia Schmodown Live! This is the second match here. I'm Christian Harloff. Mark Ellis, how are you, buddy? Oh, this crowd showed up again on another <laughs> night for another match. They did. They must really like us. Well, it's nice to have them here, obviously, as we did the Wildberries and the Real Rejects, and that yeah. was a fun match, and there was a lot of, you know, it, it was there was camaraderie, but it was still a nice match. And there was no bad of, blood. There was a lot of correct answers in that. Now, what we know we're getting in this headlining match is a lot of correct answers. What we don't know is this something else is going to break out onto the stage that we're going to have to stop. Well, Roke has already been part of something like that at the Spectacular. I don't think he's looking to get physical and either is the, uh, JTE doesn't have to. We got Roka versus JTE. Here's what, it, this is how it stands, is that JTE says it and he's right. In the movie Trivia Showdown, in Screen Junkies movie fights, Roka has never beaten JTE in wow. any of that competitive. If you want to look wow. at those both sports, he's never beaten them. And it's got I know, not it's got I know it hurts Roka. I know Roka very well. He's the most competitive person I know in the Schmodown. And it eats him up. That little evil just is like smiling at him every single time. He took the championships away from him. He TKO'd him in a defense, and then he knocked him out in another defense. He right now is not thrilled and wants that revenge. He needs to step over JTE to try to get past those three victories to get himself a singles title shot. That's right. If anybody else looked at JTE and said, hey, he looks like Ivan Drago, you'd say, are you sure you don't need your eyes checked? But when John Roca says that's his nemesis, he goes to the top of mountains, he rides his horse 10,000 miles up, and he screams from the top of his lungs, J-T-E. Which makes sense, but that's the dangerous Roka. J Roka has been in situations like that very much. Look at what happened with Mance back in the day. Mance, he had that match with Mance. He lost that thing with Bespin. Would have killed most competitors. It didn't. It built Roka. You look at the stuff that happened with Dan Merle. He wanted Dan Merle. He fought to get Dan Merle, and he beat Dan Merle. And then, you know, he, he, then he wound up losing the championship, but you, you look at what happened then with Riley. He, he had that, yeah, he lost the championship to Riley, but he also beat Riley twice. He had, he's got this drive in him, the, the thing with team action, and now you've got this just overall feud with him and JTE. The tensions are high. Top 10 can't stand Patriots. The Patriots can't stop top 10. And JTE is another one. JTE, yes, he's got that. He's got those team belts. They've had it for over a year. He wants that singles belt. He wants it bad. He had a hiccup you know, in the finals against the now champion Sam Levine. He just lost in that triple threat win. Well, Rachel Cushion kicked the shit out of him. But I mean, like, you look at, you look at he did, she did. She, she was dominant in that match. There's no doubt about it. So, but JTE wants to overstep that, and JTE wants to beat Roka to get to that title shot. I, I think I see a theme here with this headlining match, crowd and Christian and everybody watching at home. It's that John Roka isn't somebody who loses and then just goes home and cries about it. He loses, and he lets that failure make himself better. But nobody has failed more than JTE, and he has also allowed that to turn him into damn near of a champion. One of them's going to get a little bit closer to that so-called mythical belt right here on stage. You're right to joke about that because when you look at the disaster of a year that JTE had in 2016, we made a documentary. <laughs> But what's crazy about it, though, is that JTE earned that comeback player of the year. The year he had last year was incredible. I mean, it really was. He's a very, I mean, now when you used to say, oh, I'll put you up against JTE, everyone's like, sure. Now you go, oh, man, I don't know. Because JTE is a main eventer. It's why he's headlining here tonight because people, they, a lot of people want Roka to win tonight here. But I don't think everyone just says it's a sure thing. Like, JTE is going to be tough. JTE is the team champion for over a year and almost like three months now for a reason. They're great headliners. Let's make no mistake about it. The reason why people showed up, right here, right here. Thank you. All right, so guys, we We can put are, the wild berries up again, and they'd show up. Listen, before we get to this, we're going to hear from our competitors, and we're going to hear from them right now. John Roca. I don't want to make a mistake here, guys. This is a moment for John Roca. This is not a moment for me. To me, this match, it's not really shit. I beat this guy so many times, it's just become tiresome. See, here's the thing, here's the thing. You guys are here because you were sold about the possibility of the impossible. 
You want to see history. You want to see something you've never seen before. You know how hard it is to sell that? Well, you're going to try and see it today. Because John Roca, I know you want to beat me really bad. See, here's the thing. I've been a champ for a year and a half. You were a champ once for, what, a week and a half? You see, when I leave this theater, no matter what happens, I'm going to leave knowing I'm a true champion because I've shown it for a year and a half. If you win this thing, you're going to be running around here like you won the lotto. You're going to be high-fiving people. You're going to be like, oh, my God, I can't believe it. <laughs> Not me, guys. I'm going to brush my shoulder off, go to bed real easy because I know at the end of the day I'm a champ. Last thing I'll say is, Roca, I know you want to beat me, but you got to get your head out of the clouds, or Cloud City, oh. <laughs> or Bespin, but you know all about Bespin. See, that word is tied to you because you lost. This belt is tied to me because I'm a winner. <laughs> wow. We back from the dead, baby. We come to play live. We gonna take this little boy out. He's eight and eight. He's 500 and he's talking shit. You gotta be kidding me. He ain't got his rat face partner to lie and get him out of situations. Now, bitch gotta go toe to toe with me. The great one. The best one. You can make fun of me all you like, but I'm a two time champion. The fuck are you, JT? <laughs> little boy, you can talk all your mess. But I come to bring my best. You saw me fall apart. You saw me go down. You saw me get angry. But what did Ellis say? Defeat only makes me stronger. Makes me hungry. Ask Team Action. Ask Team Action. Is that bitch out of prison yet? You out of prison yet? <laughs> That's right. Hey, Ben, you got a suit that fits yet? Jesus Christ. We got something to talk about here. Schmodown Live. We doing this thing live, baby. I want to hear you. Now, when I started this thing, I started it for me. Christian's right. When he came to me and he said, John Roca, I'm doing this thing. And I almost jumped through the phone. Give me the belts. All the belts. I want everything and all the records. And he said, but you got to take it one step at a time. And I did, right? I climbed all the way to the mountain. If you watch those promos, I told Dan a year before I beat him that I was coming for him. And then I did it. The Schmoes knows we're talking a mess. What happened? Top 10 took him out. Top 10, boom, I, yeah, if I'm correct, right? And that's what we do, and that's what I do. So I come for the belt. I got to step over this guy, and I got my designs on someone else after I take care of JTE. So Lion's Den, let me tell you something right now. You can stop calling me the outlaw. All you bitches can call me the poacher. Because I'm going to hang your skins on my fucking wall. And I'm going to start with JTE. Outlaw out. All right. I mean, you knew, you knew it would be heated. You knew that these two were going to go out. I mean, JTE is just rubbing salts into previous wounds. And Roca is trying to lick him. But Roca is ready to kick some ass. And you know the way that he gets fired up. You know how much this means to him because this does. I mean, th this is the end of this for, for Roca and JT. I mean, it, it's, it's got to be. Yeah, uh, stirring monologues from two grown men who have not yet filed for their taxes this year. Um, <laughs> I think what I'm really looking forward to most is after you get through all the hubbub, all the hype, all the hoopla, these are two human beings, and I say that loosely, that really know something about movie tribute. They love cinema. These are cinephiles. They yeah. are Oh, fans yeah. of celluloid, and they know a lot about it, and they can recall it like that, like that, like that, and it's about to go down, and I'm excited to watch it. Me too, but that's why they're here. Yeah. That is why yeah. they are the two of the best that we have, but it's 
really crazy because of all the competitors that we do have and because right now we talked to the champion earlier, all these people that are now going for the championship, it's, it's wide open and JTE and Roker are at a standstill here because whoever loses is going to be bumped to the bottom there and the winner has a legitimate chance to win a couple matches and get a shot at the championship. This is Roka's, Roka wants that singles belt. He wants that singles belt, so does JTE. So this, this is the perfect match for this to happen and for the Schmodown audience here live, they're about to see a war. You know, the great John Lennon once said, imagine there's no heaven above us or a hell below us. There's gonna be a heaven, there's gonna be a hell. One of them is gonna be euphoric after this, the other one is gonna be in the pits with a fork up their ass. <laughs> All right, well, if you guys are ready, Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Movie Trivia Schmodown! Oh boy. Introducing first! It's been a long time. Representing it's been a long time Top 10! With a record! Of seven wins, you know, there's no Four turning defeats. back now. He this is, is what makes me. This the is what I am. 2016 <laughs> Ultimate Schmodown finalist, the former movie trivia Schmodown team champion, and the former movie trivia Schmodown champion of the world, the Outlaw. John Roca! And there is Matt Nose! Wow. Matt Nose is coming out with him! Nose is there! And wait till this audience sees Roca! They're gonna go nuts! Good show support there! Yeah, you see, he's running and he points to him! He's pointing to him! Where is he? There's the curtain! Oh, there he is! He's got the mask! Yeah, there he is! The crowd's going nuts as Roca is here! Taking pictures of him, getting as the, as the Roka chance is starting. The Roka chance is starting as he's coming through. This is what the outlaw wanted. Can he even see in that mask? He's got to. He's got to navigate some stairs before he even gets. Got to be careful he doesn't break his neck before he even comes down. You're right. But he's ready. He's amped up. This is the type of stuff that gets Roka fired up as he's walking down. This is his moment. Can he control his emotions, Christian? Because he's a guy that gets very heated during a match. Right. Is he going to get over hyped? You got to worry about that. Right. And John Roca is entering, he's he is shaking hands with the crowd as he's walking down and getting like, a lot of support from Roca as he's very ready. pumped up. The crowd is very pumped up. Yeah, he is ready to go. He's knocking poor Joey Rizzoul out of the way. Yeah, he's killed our camera. Taking, taking selfies with selfies everybody. We're not even yeah. sure if we're doing it right. That's right. John Roca can get in his seat. Gonna need some hand sanitizer after that intro, Christian. All right, here we go. Until Matt knows that's well. Nice to see you, John Roca. Thank you. Oh, 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 wow. He dogged me. He did the old double clutch. Real scumbag. Okay, he's gonna hold up a... Some merch. Got a little evil shirt? It's a little evil shirt. What's gonna happen to that little evil shirt? I don't know. Oh, he stomped on it. He stomped on it. What's he gonna do with it? He's gonna step on it. Just toss it. Throw it away. Yeah. All right, so... Thank goodness no pyrotechnics were involved yeah, in right. that shirt. Sure. Top, ten, top ten's ready. Get everybody excited here. All right, guys. All right, so John, if you can sit down, please. Matt, okay. thank you. Very funny comedian, Matt Nost. Yep. All right. Here we go. All right. All right, there is a big amount of, of cheers and love I yeah. wonder if the same is going to happen when I say, and his opponent. <laughs> Representing the Lion's Den with a record of eight wins, eight defeats. He is the 2017 Comeback Player of the Year. The 2017 Ultimate Schmodown Singles Finalist and the reigning Movie Trivia Schmodown Team Champion, Little Evil J.D.E. Here we go, and Ken Napstock. Ken Napstock holding the belt. And there is Snyder. 
has a yes, first fight. Snyder. Snyder holding his, his belt. Ken holding the belt as well. Ken holding the belt for JT. And there's JT. Very little evil. JT getting the boots and just yawning at the crowd. Yawning at the crowd, not shaking anyone's hand as he comes down the aisle. Dale the dude screaming at the dead. And no Tom Dagnino anywhere to be found. Very interesting here that Dagnino's not here. But the dead, we got the dead. Not the crowd favorite. No. It almost appears that we woke him up from a nap to so be here today. Yeah, he uh, he's got that belt. Ken told him that he's got the belt. They're ready for it. They are ready for it. Look at Ken. Look at Oh, wow. <laughs> Ken just spit on the audience. What a stunt The VIP that was. ticket really got the pit boss to spit in their face. Real nice. Jeff Snyder and the pit boss walking JT up. He places his belt in front of his microphone. Yeah. All right. So now here. we have both the competitors sitting down. Before we start, JT, do you have anything you want to say to Roka here? Yeah. Roka, don't get too nervous. Come on. Uh, Roka, got anything you want to say to Evil? It's a big deal for him. It's 500. Please. What I got to say to a 500 player. Come on. All right. Well, listen. Say so the dude. Dale the Dude, you ready for this? All right, let's go tail of the tape real quick here. Roka Western's biopics, and I'm not saying it. Yeah, that's um, right, you better and ask. And <laughs> we got JTE, who has 80s movies, Spielberg movies, and spelling. <laughs> Kidding. Uh, All right, so Mark, why don't you re read the rules for round number one? Very interesting. On stage, we have a belt and a mask, yet we're not in a Fifty Shades movie, thank God. In round one, each competitor is going to hear eight questions. These are questions asked to the field. Each question is worth one point. There is no penalty for missing a question. There is no stealing in round one. The questions come from eight different categories of movie trivia. Should you get all eight answers right in round one, you are asked a bonus question that is to you and only you. Keep in mind, there are two rules to be aware of. The JTE rule, JT, I probably don't have to explain that to you. If you need a question repeated, simply ask. You get three of those per match. You also have one challenge rule. If your challenge is upheld, you do get to keep your challenge, Christian. All right, guys, so make sure, again, write the answer down, say it out loud. And it's not a joke, please say it and write it. And <laughs> Roka, are you ready? I'm ready. JTE, are you ready? Let's do this. Then let's get ready to schmoot out. Here we go. Round number one, category one, animated. Animated, mm. what Scottish actor voiced Stoic the Vast, the father of Hiccup in the How to Train Your Dragon films? Uh, fun fact to the crowd about Christian, he listens to the How to Train Your Dragon soundtrack Fantastic. in his car I do. every day. Same guy who's doing this compo the score for Solo, five. Four. You host a Star Three. Wars show, we get it. Two, one, Roka. Stop writing, JT. Roka. Gerard Butler. Correct, JTE. Didn't have it. Didn't have it. Roka takes the lead. First blood has been drawn. First blood, Roka coming out strong. All right, next question. Your next question comes from the world of comedies. <laughs> <laughs> and your question is, Billy Wilder directed Tony Curtis and Jack Lemmon as cross-dressing musicians in which 1959 romantic comedy. Roka trying to get ahead here of right. the little list of evils. Roka's first decade on Earth in the 50s? Five. That's mean. Four. Four. Three. Two. One. Evil. Uh, some like it hot. That's correct. Roka. Some like it hot. Roka, two. JT, one. Next question. The category of dramas. Dramas. Who plays Ivan Locke in the 2013 film Locke? This is intense. You can feel it in the crowd. This is good. It is. Five. This is good. Four. Three. Two. One. Pens down. Roka. Tom Hardy. Correct. JTE. Tom Hardy. Got it. <laughs> All, right. All right. We move on to horror thriller. Ugh. Feels like a horror movie in here right now. It does. What actress played Rachel Watson, a woman who becomes obsessed with her neighbors in 2016's The Girl on the Train? You know that was based on a novel? I'm watching the match. Five, four. That's how you yes and, kids. Three, two, 
one. Roca. I think it's JT first, isn't it? Thank you, JT. <laughs> uh, Emily Blunt. Correct, Roca. Emily Blunt. Got it. <laughs> nice little show of sportsmanship yeah. there from Roca. Yeah. All right, next one. Action adventure. Who played the villainous Poppy in Kingsman, The Golden Circle? I believe the movie is based on a team in the Schmodown. That's... It should... Well, yeah, they're both bad. It's based on... Wow. I didn't like the second <laughs> one. Sorry. Five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. Roca. Julianne Moore. That is correct. JTE. Julianne Moore. Got it. Roca and JTE scrapping it out. Jab for jab here. Five, four... Next Your one. next category is in the world of romantic comedies. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Who played the other male co-lead alongside Colin Firth in 2001's Bridget Jones's Diary? Christian Harloff, have you ever kept a diary? False. <laughs> you had to think about it. Five, four, three, two. Your diary. Two, Ellis outed me today. One. JTE. Uh, Hugh Grant. Correct. Roca. Hugh Grant. Roca still perfect. Roca still perfect. Getting closer to that perfect Next round one. Next question here in fantasy sci fi. Fantasy sci fi. Oh, Who played Bad Ape in War of the Planet of the Apes? I have a joke, but it's too obvious. I keep that one to myself. Yeah. Tell me later. <laughs> Five. Four, three, two, one. Pens down, Roca. I don't know it. Didn't have it. JTE. Steve's on. Got it. Ties it up. No JTE perfect game ties anymore. It up. No, not only, but it was not only perfect, ties it up. All right, so here we go. The last question in this round. Fitting way to close out round one is in the world of the Oscars. Ooh, the Academy nice. Awards, which are filmed in this very theater. False. One point for you. What film released wide in 2009 won Best Picture at the 82nd Academy Awards? So it was released in 2009, won the Academy Award that year. Rachel Cushing is trying to not scream out the answer right now. Right. I believe we can clarify it was in limited release in 2008. Yes. So it had award consideration. Right. Wide in 2000. Stop talking. Five, four, three, two, one. JTE? It's like a guess here. No Country for Old Men? That's incorrect. Roca? No, I didn't. <laughs> the answer was The Hurt Locker. The Hurt Locker ah. was the answer. Okay, tie game. Tie game, Jen. Ooh. Snyder coming out. Yeah. Snyder coming out. Raw and there. There's Naps on. Right, and, and then Nose coming out. Nose coming out Ooh. here. Oh, and wait, look, Dale the Dude is on the stage. Dale Why the Dude is... trying to clear up. All right, yeah. chaos yeah, yeah. with the den coming out. Storing some more. All right, let's get, let's get, all right, we know, we know, we know. Everybody, Dale, but I like that Nost and Dale came in here too. It's not a Lions Den versus Roca thing here. When they came on stage, thank God I had a Coors Light to drink on stage. Yeah. All right, here we go, guys. Round number two, Mark, how's it work? In round number two, that their wheel contains movie categories. Each wedge will have six questions from said movie category. Once you spin it, if you're not sure you want to answer questions from that category, you are allowed to have another spin. However, you must stick with whatever category you then spin. Each question in round two is worth two points. If you're not sure of the answer, you can check to multiple choice, at which point the value of the question goes down to one. Keep in mind competitors and crowd. There is stealing in round two. Two, it's a tied ball game right now, Christian. So I believe because Little Evil has a much more expensive piece of hardware on his table than Roka does on his, he is allowed the choice whether he wants to spin first or defer to the outlaw. I'll be going first. All right, JT, Cor make, JT, make sure you spin from the wheel, not the peg, please. Why Go is Westerns on here? Spin from the Do wheel. Do not grab the pegs. Grab the, wheel. the actual wheel. Thank there you, you very much. Caress it. There's the spin. That's a good spin. As Ken says, the spin is in. Good spin. Got to figure he's looking for that action adventure. I would think so. Or is Sly and Arnie choice. on the wheel? Uh, Sly and Arnie might. It could be Sly and Arnie, Christian. Look out! It is a Sly and Arnie. Yeah, Sly, Sly and, and Arnie. Arnie. JT hits Sly and Arnie. JD, JT, do you want to keep it? Uh, I'm staying. I'll take it. You better All believe right. I'm staying. All right, All wow. Right. 
JTE, four questions. Sly and Arnie. Four questions in the realm of Sly and Arnie. JTE get one of his strengths here. JTE, okay. Love it. JTE, Arnold. Well, we're live. I'll tell you what. In this particular movie, Arnold finds an illegal clone of himself in what film? First of all, I don't want to use a repeat, but with your accent, I can barely understand oh, what you're fine, saying. Fine, fine, <laughs> fine. That's fair, that's fair, that's fair. No, that's fair. I'm just saying. That's fair. It's, it's fair. It's fair. And there's plenty of videos online where you can see him. I can him. answer it if you need me to. I understood him. I Ar want to apologize to our fans from Austria. All right. Arnold finds an illegal clone of himself in what film? And fuck you. Uh, that would be The Sixth Man. That's incorrect. It's incorrect. What did, what did he say? He said the sixth man. That was the sixth day, isn't it? That's correct. That Two is a steal. monumental steal. steal. Big steal. The sixth yeah, man you're is right. incorrect. You're right. Monumental steal. Christian, yep. JTE clearly had that movie confused Second with yep. the Marlon Wayans classic, The Sixth Man. Here we go. Here we go, JTE. So your second question here. Here we go, JTE. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's All right. Some. Who co-starred with Sylvester Stallone in Rhinestone? Uh, Dolly Parton. Two points. All right, question three. Damon Killian is the villain in what Arnie film? Five. Repeat. Damon Killian is the villain in which Arnie film? I'm not sure, but I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna say Commando. That's incorrect. <laughs> Two point steal. Jesus. Damon Killian. Five. Four. Yeah, I don't know this. Three. One. Uh, raw deal. Looking for the running man. Ah. Uh, running man. All right, JT. Should have known that. Your last question here, JT. Yep. Who played Arnie's daughter in True Lies? I know her name. It's um. Uh, hold on, no. it's uh Alicia Duku. Am I pronouncing I'm, I'm, that right? I'm not gonna give you Alicia Duku. Uh, it's Eliza Duku. Two points steal for Roca. So John Roca comes out of this in the wow. lead. Who would have thought that was coming? Are you really? Christian, we can't give you Count Duku. Can't do it. This is can't do it. This is monumental for a number of different reasons, not the least of which is that Sly and Arnie as a wheel slice in this match is actually a wheel slice that was selected by one of our Patreon supporters. And boy, did it factor in heavily to this match where JTE spun the category he wanted, and he's not the one with the lead at the end of it. All right, so. Alicia Duku, I don't know her name. Wow. Count, well, count, may, was that, maybe that was Count Duku's niece. All right. Now John Roca is on. It is time for John Roca to spin the wheel. John, please don't spin from the peg. Spin from the wheel. All right. The crowd showing their support. Can they power Roca through this match? Looks like what? It looks like luck's on your side, brother. Looks like luck is on your side as Westerns comes in to play. Uh. Wow. Roka's got a chance here to do some damage. Roka can go, if Roka, Roka can do some damage here. Christian, you can't say JT didn't get what he wanted under the Christmas tree, and now Roka comes downstairs to find a big box of Westerns. Your first question. In the world of Westerns, your first of four. What famous singer co-starred with John Wayne in the movies Rio Bravo? and the sons of Katie Elder. Dean Martin. Two, Two points. points. Roka doing in his strength, which JT could not do in his. For your next question, in 2016's The Magnificent Seven, who played the soft-spoken mountain man and tracker Jack Horn? Vincent D'Onofrio. Two, Two points. points. <laughs> Look at Roka. Roka looking like the Roka of old right now. Your third question in round two. Who played an ex-Confederate colonel and co-lead to John Wayne's ex-Union colonel in 1969's The Undefeated? Oh, damn. Five. You gotta take chances. Four. Three. Two. Repeat the question. 
who played an ex-Confederate colonel and co-lead to John Wayne's ex-Union colonel in 1969's The Undefeated? Five, four, three, two. Rock Hudson. Two points. Two points. <laughs> and Roka has a chance to be he up knew by. That. He's he got knew a chance that. to be up. He's That's got a drama right there. He's got a chance to be up by 10. The Roka chants in the crowd are getting louder and louder. All right, Roka. Your I, uh, last question. Are we in TKO mode here? What's happening? Not yet. No, no, no. Your last question. <laughs> JT is seeing three Rokas in the ring right now. <laughs> Hit the one in the middle. Your last question in round number two, Roka, and this is for a 10-point lead going into round three. What Native American tribe does Kevin Costner develop a relationship with in Dances with Wolves? I did not write it. Chris multiple Lewis choice. Answer. Your multiple choice options are, is it A, Pawnee, B, Comanche, C, Sioux, or D, Osage? Five, four. Sioux? The thing with John Roke is you never know if he's milking it or not. The answer is Sioux. One point. So JTE is within nine now. I mean, <laughs> nine. Nine. Oh boy. As we get, wait a minute, what's happening over yeah, here? That's pretty much what's, else. A, what's happening over uh -oh. here? What's happening over this, here? What's happening over here? Get him out, this? Dale. Dale, get him out. No. Get him out, Dale. And, and, no, stay get there, him out, Dale. Dale. Stay there, Dale. Stay there for a second. Get what's him out, Dale. Wait. Get him out. As we what's, get, what's going on here? Get, get him out. We're getting close to Get him out. No one we're wants getting, to listen to your bullshit. Get the fuck out of here. We're getting close. You should have been here. Get out of here. You should have been here and stop mugging someone, whatever you're doing. Dagnino trying to throw Roka off his game, crashing the interview, the, the match here as we get to the third round. We get to the third round. Mark, tell us how it works. You know, that Finstock, always a card. Yeah, I mean, he's a real scumbag. In round three, the rules are each competitor is going to give us a series of numbers that range from 1 to 20. Because the was in the lead, he'll be giving us his numbers first. Each number corresponds to a movie category up here at the answer desk. Your first question is going to be worth two points. Your next question is worth three points. And your last question, should we get that far, JTE, is worth five points. Like I said, John Roca, you are going to be giving us your numbers first. Have at it, sir. Eight, 10, and 12. Eight. 10 and 12. All right, little evil. Uh, five, 11, 13. Five. <laughs> 11 and 13, all right. Let, let's, let's start with JTE. All right, JTE, you're gonna mm. get your two-pointer here. All right, JTE, your two-pointer here is in the category of new releases. New releases, JTE. Mm -hmm. Who plays Greg Sestero in The Disaster Artist? Uh, Dave Franco. Two points. The two-pointer, guys, two-pointer, two-pointer. All right, our next one is category 11, category 11. Got westerns. Now, JTE, if you miss this, this is some poetic justice. Right? If you Jesus miss Christ. this, JTE, yeah. John Roca will win yeah, via TKO. Here you go, JTE in category of westerns. You cannot spin again. Yeah, got that. <laughs> Name the actor who faced off against. Liberty Valance first with his law books and then with a gun in the man who shot Liberty Valance. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I would love that. Uh, let me get a repeat. Exit. That was a lot. Name the actor who faced off against Liberty Valance first with his law books and then with a gun in the man who shot Liberty Valance. First, let me say... I'm happy everyone here that bought a ticket gets to see something that's never been done before. Five, um, four, Jane Fonda. Three. And your winner by way of technical knockout, the outlaw, John Roca. The answer was Jimmy Stewart. Jimmy Stewart with the answer. JTE getting the way of Roca. <laughs> this is where oh god go. jte oh wait no don't do that don't do that hey guys 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 oh boy this is 
what I oh, am. Oh no, they got his hat. All right, now they got his hat back. Everybody Forever. playing All nice right. because everybody playing nice. John Roca, get back, get what back behind day. stage, get behind stage. Win Go. Was. In just a minute, for everybody watching at home, we're gonna have an interview with both the winner and the loser. There's the winner. Yeah. Showing his mask, giving a John bit up front. Up. Look, he, he earned the win. He's he now, clearly had the favor of the crowd with him the whole time. Do you think that's factored into JTE's psyche at all? I think so. I think so. I think it hurt a little bit also, but I think that the luck went Rogue's way. And the fact that JT blew Brian Arnie, that killed him. I mean, as somebody who loves 2B love, I, I imagine at some point JTE and, and being the heel that we know him to be, I imagine the booze get to you, but Rogue clearly, from the time he was introduced, feeding off the energy of the crowd. But I think really the big thing was round two. Well, round he two, got a wedge that he wanted, and he was able to not Westerns out of the park. JT got what he wanted. That's it. He, oh, you, just, you nailed it. It's the fact that they both got, it wasn't like, oh, well, he got something he didn't know and he got something he knew. They both got categories they were strong in. Roka delivered. JT did not. And that's that's what happened. I mean, when you look when you look at what happened right there, I mean, that was something. JTE at this point, though, you know, he, he like he said, it's just a matter of what does he do next? He's got yeah. that belt around his uh, yeah. around his arm. But uh, the question, what I'm very curious about, is what Roka, who's Roka going to challenge? Who is Roka going to challenge in that interview? Because that's the next match that we've got to see, because now Roka's in the title hunt again. That's right. Uh, in the meantime, JT is going to have to go home and look at his Sly and Arnie fatheads and apologize to them. Right. We throw it over to Jen Sturger now, who will have an interview with the loser and the winner. Oh, JTE, you're lucky I wore my flats today. Thank you. That was, that was a really... Well, that's not all you did. What dumpster did you climb out of to come to this interview? Please let me finish This my guy job. got me a car to my house, all right? And they, they take me to... Uh, it was supposed to take me to, to jail. They took me to Sun Valley. And then a car broke down. And that's what took me so long to get here. What the fuck? Stupid. Oh, JTE, circus aside, that was a really yep. rough match for you. Tell you know what? what? Uh, again, I'm glad for the people that came here and bought a ticket because I want them to see something they've never seen before. They never saw Roka beat me. And for them to come here and see this is making literally history. I, I'm, I'm a little happy for them. Listen, I've been a champ for a year and a half. Losing to a guy like this ain't going to sweat me for one second. What is next for you then? Uh, continue being a champion, first of all. Look at this. You've had, you've had success year in Year and a half. You've had success in team, but yes. does that mean that you need Jeff Snyder? Yeah, of course. Listen, Jeff is, uh, we're a team, okay? We're just as good as when we're separated. The thing is, okay, he got Westerns. I'm pretty sure there's Elijah so, uh, Dooku? I, that's the thing that pisses me off, because I can't pronounce her name. I don't like this line of questioning. Yeah, that, that, just because I didn't know how to pronounce her name. Give me a freaking break. I knew who it was. She's been in some movies, I know who she is. You have rules that were specifically invented for you, and yet you still come unprepared. For no, matches. I got the repeat. <laughs> Come on, listen, I'm, I'm getting a lot of bias right here from you. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. The biggest, listen, the biggest mistake I made here was saying the sixth man instead of the sixth day. But honestly, I was half paying attention to this match. I was just there because Roka wanted to finally win. He wanted to have a win against me. I still will say to this day, <laughs> what's the record? How many times have I beat him? How many times he beat me? It was like eight to one? I forget. One on one. That's what you call this? He got Westerns, and I got a Westerns question. There's something going on behind the scenes. This was a charity match. It was charity. It was like Thunderlips and uh, Rocky and Rocky Three. Tom, will we you know, see, will we... JT was taking it not serious like Rocky, and then this jack off was taking it super serious. It was supposed to be an exhibition match, not this. It was an exhibition. I, here's the thing, man. I'm just, I've been a champion for a year and a half. I maybe <laughs> lost the hunger a little bit. I see these players who I've seen so many times, who I've beaten so many times. How am I supposed to like get motivated? Give me something worthy. Tom, will we be seeing all of your team, the Lions dead in the free for all? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Roka, yeah. Next, is, next up is Schneider for Roka. If, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. But uh, what do you have to say, Ken? Because I can pronounce shit. Uh, we'll work that out. Yes, I am right now telling you, Jennifer that I will be at the free-for-all because Sam Witwer, he's got to get ready for me. I'm going to win that free-for-all, and I'm going for Witwer, and I'm taking back the belt that the system took away from me. I think we're done we'll here. We'll all be there. We'll all be at the free-for-all. I think we're done here, Christian. I want to say one last thing. The only Maybe time not. I will ever play John Roca again is when he has a belt, and I don't see that happening anytime soon. Right. 
poof. All right. So as you as you thank you, Jen, for the poor Jen Sturger for having to go through that. Um, yeah, that was a lot of dude in that interview. Well, yeah. I mean, look, that's the Lions. Then that's what the Lions then do. they don't they don't take responsibility for anything. JT got his ass whooped tonight, and that and that's basically that's what it was. Here that, comes the winner down to the interview yeah, the podium. But I mean, to, look, uh, when you hear that though, you hear JT. The for the, the thing that JT was saying though, JT was talking about it again and again that he was the champion. He's the champion. We're going to see him in teams because he's starting off. He's having a bad year so far. He's 0 and 2, and now as he's probably going to stick with teams for a little bit. Um, but it's the story right now. We know it's the outlaw. What's he feeling? How's he feeling? He's back on top at least for now. Who's next? What's going to happen? Who's he going to play? What's the challenge? I mean, how are we, we going to end the night tonight? Well, I know what his future is. What's that? He's going to talk to Jen Sturger I, I right like now. I like you. You're the master of that. <laughs> That's right, Mark Ellis. I am going to talk to the outlaw. John Roca, <laughs> congratulations you, on finally beating JT. Yeah. He's had your number in movie fights yes. and in the Schmodown. Oh, hi, Mark. Yeah, yeah. And finally... Yeah. Take one home. Yeah. Well, listen. When you play someone one on one, it's a whole other ball game. You can't depend on your buddy to bail you out every time, or mess with the rules, or try some uh, lawyer speak to try to win. You got to show your knowledge. And hell, he had every advantage. We've come tied out of that first round. He got Sly and Arnie. What do you want from me? Were you a little nervous when he landed Sly and Arnie? Did you see me get nervous? Nah. <laughs> Focused up. When I'm dialed in, ain't nobody can beat me. When I'm dialed in, and that's the truth. Tell me how good it felt to land on westerns oh it felt great you saw me walk around that table i was having a ball that's the thing these people have been amazing tonight all of them they carried me to this victory they carried me all of you own this victory you know you go when you when you lost the way we did my fault not asking for a repeat i had the answer right didn't write it down legibly i get it i was hurt i felt bad like ellis said went home sat with it but then I said, you got to let it go. I even called Christian. I was like, Christian, maybe it's time for me to retire. Maybe I ain't got it no more. Maybe I'm the old dog in a yard full of young dogs. And then I showed up tonight ready to kick this guy's ass. And I did it. And all you young ones, all you new rooks, I ain't done by a mile. So come bring it. Don't sing it. Bring it. Because I'm here to win that belt back. Levine, you won by a letter, and I want my title back. So I'm coming for you. But first... Look, I know there was talk. I'm sorry, Jen. You want to ask a question? I'm going to go crazy. You know, you know how I, I am. Did. You know how I, heard, I am. I heard there might be some kind of announcement that you want to make. Oh, yeah. Well, there's one. And that is, I know people talked about McWeenie. There was this talk about McWeenie. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not done with the lion's den. I mean what I said. I'm poaching the fuck out of those boys. I'm hanging those skins on my wall. So Jeff Snyder! Snyder! You Jane Fonda son of a bitch! I'm coming for you next! I'm going to whoop the fuck out of you. Then Finstock just for practice. And Knapsack, if it ain't in the stars, you don't know it. So I'm going to smoke your ass next too. And this is my boy here, Matt Nost. We team top 10. You're still vastly outnumbered right now by the Lions Den, though. That's right, I am. So there's only one way to solve... Actually... There's four ways to solve it. And I'm gonna tell you the four real soon. Well, that's it. I mean, look, so John Roca teasing that... the return of the four horsemen. Wow. The four horsemen. So the question of who's gonna be in the four horsemen, I mean, I, I, this is the first time hearing of it. Um, but that's what he did last time. He set it up, and he set up the four horsemen, and then we saw Bibiani, obviously, and then Burnett, but I, the, those two. Those two aren't gonna aren't gonna be in the horseman. So who who could be the new horseman? We don't know. But John Roca is back on top at least for now. I'll tell you this: whoever joins the new horseman faction, like, like John Roca said, he's got a doorbell sign that says, "You better bring it or don't ring it." He knows how to play. He wants people who are serious about this league. And I'm happy to say that here tonight we have placed over two hundred and eighty dollars into the swear jar. Oh yeah, yeah. it worked out. Yeah, I mean, it was a hell of an event. I mean, both both yeah. videos, if you watched on Tuesday and you watched today, but if you were here for the live event, you got the Wild Berries beating the Real Rejects, and now John Roca TKOs JTE. He rides again. The main event. The Outlaw's horse. The Outlaw is back.
And so everybody out there right now, if you are brand new, make sure that you subscribe to Collider Video, share, do all that, keep on commenting, let people know about the movie Trivia Schmodown, and if you haven't joined the Patreon, do it today. But I'd like to thank the crowd here today. Thank you guys very much. It was absolutely amazing, a lot of fun. I was so excited to see everybody. It was a really great ex to, uh, experience to do this. Yeah, I, just a huge thank you to both Full Screen Live and to the El Portal Theater for hosting this event. Like you said, I challenge everybody out there who's watching this right now, tell your friends about the Movie Trivia Shmoda. They like movie trivia, they're gonna love this league. And I challenge everybody out there in the audience right now, to you, you don't have to do a damn thing more. Thank you guys for showing up. Have a great evening, everybody. For Christian Harloff, I am Mark Ellis, signing off from the the movie trivia Schmodown live. And stay there, I'm gonna throw some shirts into the crowd. So, as you know, I have this number one contender spot to give to someone in our faction, and I've been sitting on the decision for a while, I've really been thinking about it, and, uh, you know, I've made my decision, and I, I really want to offer it to you. You are just one of the hardest working people in this league. You're smart, you're capable, and you've put in your time, and, well, let's face it, you fucking deserve it. Uh, wow. Um, I'm like super flattered and really surprised. Uh, I, but I mean, I don't know, like, don't, don't you think that maybe we should save it for the teams? Like, you know you guys are gonna get there. You guys are a strong team. I believe in you. I don't think you need the leg up. You've beaten Sam before and I think you could do it again. All you have to do is beat one person and then you get a shot at him and the belt. I do think that Rachel and I are gonna get there. I do. Um, so, okay, how does, how does this work? Look at the top 10 competitors in singles and pick someone. All right. You let me know who you wanna take on and I will formally issue the challenge. What's up, Schmodown fans? Frank here coming at you with your Schmodown Breakdown. And your winner! JTE and Roka were live in the El Portal Theater and they did not disappoint. And after one, they were all locked up at six apiece. But then the second round happens, and that's when everything fell apart for JTE. This was the worst second round performance of his entire career. He answered just one question correct in the round. That is something he's never done in his previous 16 matches. Then we got Roka, who crushes his turn and comes away with 11 points in the round. His 11 total points in the round is a career high. His previous high was 9 points. And once we got into the final round, JTE could never recover, and the Outlaw, he wins by TKO 17-10. to Taking a closer look, you see JTE answered 57% correct. He's now lost 3 in a row, and in that span, his answer accuracy is 65%, which just so happens to be his career average. As for Roka, he had his best match since his first matchup against Mark Riley way back in 2016. With an accuracy of 8% in this match, it marks just the third time in his career he's finished a match answering 80% or better. Now if you want to stay up to date on stats about other players and teams from around the league, check out SD Rundown Stats on Twitter, and don't forget to check out the Schmodown Rundown every Saturday on YouTube and your podcast feeds. This week, we're talking to the winner of today's match, John Roga. This has been your Schmodown Breakdown.